previously on Block Story Season 4. <laughs> more? No, two more. One more hit, one more hit, one more hit. Yes! It's down! Awesome! And on this episode... Hello guys, it's Excel and welcome back to some more Block Story. Yes, at long last I have returned to Season 4. And guess what? Block Story has managed to hit 100% on the Steam's recent reviews. And on top of that, right now it's sitting at 74% positive overall. So it is getting there. And I must say I'm really proud of the community. Couldn't have asked for a better one. But alright, in this episode we are going to be getting... The new dragon, Eldriar. And this is one of the hardest um, pets to make, simply because the items are a bit challenging to get. That's not going to stop us. I'm also going to go step by step on how to get them. As you notice, I just slept there. Uh, you can now sleep and change the weather. So we need, I believe, 20 meteorites, a dragon egg, and uh, like 80 dragon hearts or something. I don't remember the exact amount of dragon hearts I need, but I do know that I have enough because I farmed a lot back then and I have my collection of dragon eggs somewhere. I don't remember where I put them. So now meteorites uh, spawn in the sky, obviously. Where else would they spawn in? Uh, they spawn with, they spawn when humidity is 90% or greater, so basically that's not supposed to happen. Basically, most of the sky needs to be cleared up. I mean, it, most of the sky just needs to be gone. And just glancing at the clouds, it looks like it is increasing as far as the storm goes. They don't happen every storm. It doesn't look like I'm at 19 per- Oh, yes we are. There we go. Let's drop some meteorites. Oh, that's not meteorites. So we got ourselves a lucky storm here. It's really picking up. You just gotta be careful and make sure that, uh... Make sure one doesn't fall on you. Oh, here we go. Chlorium. This is very... it can be very tedious. You see how this works? This game still just works against you and... Hey, you want this thing? No, you have everything else but the thing you actually want. And now it's clearing up, so we're gonna go sleep again. Cause that's what we gotta do. There we go. Killed cows. Why must you portray us like this? There we go. Yeah, just don't land on me. Whoa. Ow. Okay, this storm seems to be much better. Hey, do you want to die, visitor? Oh, he teleported out of the way. Well, I can kill him anyway. Wait, hang on, where's that? Oh, yes. Doing good. When in doubt, use life magic. That pretty much obliterates them. So we're at five, I'll put this here. Um, maybe six or seven? I guess I shouldn't have counted on it. Well, let's get another one. Yes, yes, yes! Oh, come on, that hit me! I'm liking the storm, that one's gonna... No, I was hoping it was going to kill Ted, but it didn't. That was very disappointing. See, the meteorites are killing cows, but they're not killing Ted, which just sucks. Come on. We got room for another one. Yeah, there we go. Yes. Oh, another one. Yeah. This is going a lot smoother than I thought. 
but it's only going to be a matter of time when I'm going to stop getting these things to drop and I'm not going to get any more. Because that's how it usually works in this series. All four seasons. They're like that. I'm not that lucky. I'm never lucky. There we go. We got ten. We're halfway there. But yeah, I'm never that lucky in this series. It always... The game always gives me... What I don't want. Ow. It exploded in the water. That's not how physics work. What's gonna happen? A bunch of water's gonna hit me in the face? Okay, yeah, that's nice. I'm getting sapphire, but come on. I need... Okay, that's not what I need. I like that it's dropping very often and the storm is continuing. But it, I'm not getting what I need. I can farm some of these ores off of these visitors. That kind of looks like an eyeball. Like, the other one would be right there. That would just make Maddie in the sky or something. Okay. Nine more. Yeah, there we go, there we go, there we go. Let's get seven more. Come on, give me some more meteorites. We are due. We are due for some more. Come on. There there has to be at least one. There oh yes, yes, yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay, we're getting there. Oh. I hear him. Oh Let's get to 15. Oh, an earthquake. That's not what I had in mind. Now, a lot of people have been telling me that the earthquakes are bugged and they can go on for several minutes. I have yet to experience one in this version of the game. It's still going on. Oh! Yeah. From what it sounds like, it sounds like the earthquake goes and then it stops and then it picks up again. Like, there is a sound effect for earthquakes. Yeah, I can I can tell that they're bugged. And we're at 17. So it it appears clear to me that earthquakes do stop then they immediately start up again. Cause you can hear the earthquakes. Like wait for it. It stopped. Then it goes again. You can hear the rumble. It stopped. Oh, now it goes again. Huh. Yeah. Whoa. Yes, that's definitely something we're going to have to take a look at, and I'm going to have to find an exploit on how to get rid of the Endless Earthquake. I have an idea. There doesn't appear to be any Earthquake. This is the wrong teleporter, but, um... So that's how you can end them. You see, earthquakes were actually rewritten, and... So the way they work now is they only work in the mainland, but they don't work up in space anymore. So a way to get around this bug right now, the Endless Earthquake bug, is to just fly up into space or teleport up there. Come on. I want this to be the last storm. That would be really nice, to be honest. Come on. Okay. We could possibly finish this in one more. Could this be it? No! Of course not! It's too much to ask for. 
Okay, one more. We can move on to the next thing. It's your move game. I'm gonna keep sleeping. Unless you give me what I want. Come on. Yeah, here we go. Damn it. You know, you've given me so much. All I want are just two meteorite ores. Is that too hard to ask for? Wait, what, what, what? Okay. Come on. Come on, I just want to be done here. Is that too much to ask for? This game is literally giving me everything else. Ugh. I'm being punished. <gasps> yes! Oh. oh, there's one over there. Oh, okay. N then you give me another one. <laughs> very funny game. Very, very funny. Okay. So, I got the 20 meteorite ores, and I obviously have enough dragon hearts. So the next thing we have to do- oh my god, there are so many now. The next thing we have to do is we have to get a dragon egg. And I only need one of them, thankfully. And the best place to get the dragon eggs, in my opinion, is by searching in Atlantis. If you've seen my tutorial videos, that is. So for those of you that don't know, um, dragon eggs can only be found in chests that are in structures. And they're very rare. The chances of finding one are about 1 in 300. Because you gotta factor in all the other items you can possibly get. So this is probably gonna take me even longer. But I have the patience to go through with this. Um, hopefully. Whoa. Hey Megalodon, what's up? Let's just see what these drop, because why not? Meteorite ore. Okay, I'll go for the meteorite ore instead. Alright, but Atlantis... The way I, the reason why I say Atlantis is because there are two possible chests you can get in these domes. One on the top, one on the bottom. And this one I think is cut off. So this might not be the best domes to be searching. Oh, there's an entrance. Okay, there's a chest. So... Am I seeing this right now? Is, is this real? Is it? There's no way. There, There is no way that that just happened. Oh, hold on, hold on. Okay, hold on. God, I'm so sweaty, my hair's all messed up. But... I was expecting... For this video to take days to record that is a one in th at least a one in 300 chance uh, <laughs> I'm speechless oh my god Okay, um... I take back everything I said about me being unlucky. Ugh, I, I, I don't even know. I just have to talk bad about myself in order to get lucky, I guess. Okay, let's get out of here. I, I'm still in shock. I'm sorry for not saying much. I, I don't know. 
I cannot believe that just happened. And to out of all the people too, like, I've seen people spend weeks, like they put in 20 hours into trying to get that egg and they still haven't gotten it. Like, my girlfriend, I, she spent like two weeks trying to look for an egg. Okay, so now I just need to find my dragon hearts. I think they're actually in my storage. I'll get them, and then we'll craft Eldriar. Wow! What an episode! Okay, let's make this. Oh yeah, forgot about that. The multi-tool. I guess that's the last time I use this thing. Okay, um, egg. I'm just gonna do this. Yeah, I uh, farmed a lot of Dragon Lords back then. That's not hacked or anything, that's legit. And if you want proof, there's proof in the Block Story Discord. Uh, okay. I, I, I cannot think right now. Something like that. We go. And now, I will mention that this character... Uh, this character was the character I used to make that Eldra trailer, which you saw about a month ago. Uh, so this character already has the fully leveled up one. But I decided to, uh... Get all the resources I need, and make one the legit way. And technically, I didn't even show you the full way of farming for the Dragon Egg, because I got it on the first chest! How does that happen? Okay. So, Eldrar. Boop. There we go. And another thing to note about this creature is that he actually learns moves as he levels up. Um, I don't remember the levels. I believe it's like 30... I want to say it's 30, 40, and 45. I wrote around 30. That's when he learns how to shoot the fireballs. Um... And once he gets to like 45, he shoots three instead of two or something like that. Okay, I don't want you to die right after I craft you. Um, another th cool thing about this dragon is he actually glows when he does his charged attack, which is pretty cool. He also has this landing animation right here, and it's probably a good or bad thing because as he's landing... Okay, I don't need you to do that. <laughs> as he's landing, he gets hit a few times. Let's actually go to the desert. I think that's a better place for him. Okay. Alright, get your crappy inventory right there. Um, my favorite armor, my, it, like, as far as visuals goes, is actually the old one. At least that I've seen so far. I just think it fits him, you know? Compared to, like, the blue one, which I'll probably show in a second. But the best one is the emerald armor. Which I don't have. This guy has so many attack animations. There's his charge attack. There he is. He glows. He shoots him. Summons in some meteors. Pretty much destroys everything. And also pisses off a bunch of NPCs at the same time. This model costed a little over $60 to put into this game. But I would say $60 well spent. Yeah, there you go. Take out Ted. Nice. Alright, let's change your armor. Uh, let's do the blue one. See, I don't, I don't think the blue one looks that good on him, but still badass nonetheless. Alright, let's... Let's ride him. That's another thing, I think whoosh, he really does take out a lot of your vision. Alright, let's take out Ted. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. Just complete annihilation of Ted. What could you ask for more? This is amazing nonetheless. This is my new favorite pet in the game. 
No question about it, it's easily the most advanced model this game has to offer. And I'll, I'll show the red one. Okay, don't break it, please. You know, the red one actually looks pretty nice, too. I'll give it that. I like it. Okay, I don't want you to break it. I need to repair it. Uh, put that one back on. But yeah, for those of you who don't know, uh, the old armor gives him 250 HP. The... Red one gives him 500, blue one gives him 750, and the emerald armor gives him 1,000. You can only get the emerald armor from farming Dragonlord, which I need to do. Yeah, you better run. But yeah, that's one nice dragon. But Alright guys, this has been us making LGR, and I am still in shock. If you can tell. Wow. I love this dragon so much. I'm going to be using him a lot. And I cannot wait to see what adventures him and I will be going through in the future. Alright guys. You can expect... Oh, there's this sitting animation. You can expect to see more Season 4 videos coming up in the near future. And I cannot wait to see what's coming next. Thank you so much for watching, I'll see you guys in the next video, goodbye.